What's he going to do? Shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Yes, yes, he will. I was just thinking when I said to Lord, Lord, this year, I want to enjoy all that you have for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, just in case someone yes. is wondering, what are you talking about right now? I'm not talking about pickups and cars and trucks. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about houses and clothes and shoes. I'm enjoying it too, but that's not what I'm talking about. All right. I want to enjoy every spiritual blessing that yeah. you have for yeah. me. Yeah. Because we are blessed. Yes, sir. Yeah. With every I think the word is all spiritual oh, blessings. Right. In, in the heavens. In the heavens. And it may very well be the reason I'm not enjoying all his spiritual blessings that he made available to me is because I have not found out what some of those blessings are. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. The brother, what, what, what can I do about that? I'm glad you asked. Get in the book. Because he's already listed. One day as I journey on this journey, continue for a while, I would like to just take a look at all the spiritual blessings that the Lord has made available to us. All right, all right. <laughs> this morning, as you pray with me and pray for me, I'm going to go to Psalm 143. A psalm that has been labeled as a <clears throat> prayer of David. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But since the Lord has had me working with this and studying on this prayer, I'm claiming that prayer as a prayer of Jamal and Will. Mm. And you can claim it as a prayer of yours as well. Mm. If this is what you want, right. the Lord do in your life 2020. Well. Question, what are you desiring of the Lord mm -hmm. in 2020? Mm -hmm. In Psalm 143, uh, You'll find that this is a, when we begin to read, I might not get through all of it today. I'm not going to try to do all of it verse by verse, but uh, you'll find that this is a marvelous prayer mm -hmm. that David penned. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not only is it marvelous, but it is an urgent prayer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not only is it marvelous, not only is it an urgent prayer, but it is a serious prayer. Yes, it is. Right. Yes, it is. The Lord, that, that, that's the way I want to pray. I want to be able to pray like that. Mm -hmm. uh, in this psalm, Psalm 143, David appeals to God's faithfulness yeah. and righteousness. Yeah, yeah. And God is Lord. Yes, he is. He's Lord. But God is faithful. Yes, he is. He's faithful in his dealing with man. Amen. Not only is he faithful, but he's also a just God. Yes, he is. What do I mean by just? Well, he's a righteous God. Mm -hmm. He can do no wrong, he does no wrong. Uh, David petitioned the one whom he knows could and would help him. Mm -hmm. Y'all know, y'all know, we all need some help. You don't need any help? I said, we all need some help. And sometimes our fellow man can't help us. Right. But David knew someone who could help him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. 
All, all to get to know him. It is power. And it is resurrection. David knew that God could help him, but David knew something else. He knew that God would help him. Yeah. We have that kind of mindset this morning. Not only can God help you, but do you believe that he will help you? Yeah. Yeah. Are you committed? Yes. Yes, he will. You haven't stopped yet? Yeah. I think oh, one of the songs, I don't know what it was, this morning I heard this phrase in the song, that he hadn't failed me yet. I tell you something else. God won't fail. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about a sneeze. I got to turn around. I won't fail. <laughs> <laughs> brother, turn the other way. <laughs> okay, maybe it's gone. Okay, thank you, Lord. Brother, brother pulled out his clean white hanky there. Give it to me. Appreciate that. I wasn't going to do it like the little fella did one of his friends. Got a cold. He needed to sneeze and all that good stuff. His friend handed him his hanky. And he messed it up. Handed it back to him. <laughs> no, no. I, if brother had given me his hanky and I would have sneezed, I would have taken it and put it away and wiped it down. Good stuff. Thank you, my brother. In Psalm 143. I'm going to read verse 1. David petitions the Lord. In his first three words, he says, Hear my prayer. Oh, don't you want the Lord to hear your prayer in 2020? He said, hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplication. In thy faithfulness. Oh, I tell you, God is faithful. He's a faithful God. God does what he does to benefit man. Yeah. Yeah. He does not do it because he needs it for himself. Yeah. But he knows that man needs some help. Yeah. In thy faithfulness, answer me. Mm -hmm. And in thy righteousness. Mm -hmm. There's one of those God is faithful and he is just. Mm -hmm. He's not going to put on us more than we can make. Right. Amen. He's not going to put us in a situation where we can't help. Yeah. If God put you in a situation, He has a reason. Yeah. Right. He puts right. us in certain situations in life so that He can make us. He can help us to realize that God is God all by himself. Yeah, right. Because when you get where you can't handle it, take it to the Lord in prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll read that verse one, one more time. What is it that you are petitioning, petitioning the Lord for in 2020? What are you designed of the Lord. David asked the Lord to hear my prayer. O oh Lord, give ear to my supplication. In thy faithfulness, answer me. And in thy righteousness. But I want to pick up in verse number seven. I think if you count them, you don't have to spend time counting them now. We can do it later. But you're going to find maybe about 11 different petitions here mm. in these last six verses. All right. Psalm 143. Starting in verse number 7. He's already asked the Lord to hear his prayer. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes 
Not all the time, maybe. But sometimes you need to God, you need God to give you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I'm in trouble now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do now. I need some help right now. This week said for the resume. Hear me speedily. God may not always answer in the time frame that we think he ought to answer. But we had a dear sister here who used to sing a song. And we have sisters, she sings it now, but he said he's a right man of God, he's on time God. Yeah. yeah, he's on time. He knows when we need what we need. Amen. 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 He said, hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Yeah. Yeah. David said, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. He said, there are so many things out there that's coming against me. You, you know, we are in a spiritual warfare. Y'all know that, don't you? Yeah, right. we are, we, that's the kind of warfare we are in. We are in a spiritual warfare. Yeah, right we are in a warfare where we cannot see the enemy. You see, I see him all the time. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Get that out of your mouth. Yeah. Well, the person sitting next to you is really not the enemy that you are in battle with. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. We are in a spiritual warfare. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We are fighting principalities. Witness in high places. There used to be going ahead mad at you. We in a spiritual warfare. David said, Oh Lord, my spirit failed. David said, I'm being drained of all that is within me. It's being sucked out of me. And every now and then we need the Lord to infuse his spirit back into our life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Don't go out and say, well, that's what I said. We need, a, we, we need the Holy Spirit again. No, that's not what I said. Yeah. I said infuse his spirit back into our life. The spirit comes in to live with the Christian as long as that child is walking over his earth. Because yeah. he lives in our heart. Doesn't he do it? Right. Oh, yeah. But every now and then, you need to be renewed in our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. They went over in his prayer. Oh, Lord. He said, oh, Lord, my spirit. Fail it. Hide not your faith from me. Yeah. Lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Now we begin to look at his petition. Things that he desired of the Lord. Things that I desire of the Lord in 2020. I desire that the Lord will cause me to hear his loving kindness in the morning. All right. Instead of getting up, mumbling and grumbling, and complaining because I got a job, and they going to work now. Well, instead of complaining about that, or instead of complaining about what faced me this day, I want to hear from the Lord. Early in the morning. Before your mind get cluttered up with all that other stuff, all that other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Yeah. Everything ran through there. Yeah. Early in the morning, I want to hear from the Lord. Yeah. yeah. David says in his prayers, but in thee I trust. Yeah. yeah. 
Here's another one. It caused me to know the way wherein I should walk. Yeah. Order my footsteps in your word. Don't know, don't know for you, sir. You're going to run into some stuff through the day. I mean, if you're living in this, if you're in this, if you are, if you, if you are on this side of heaven, yeah. you're walking on terra firma down here, yeah. on God's green and brown earth, yeah. you're going to run into some trouble. Yeah. Sometimes before you get down the road, yeah. somebody's somebody going to run right in front of you and cut you off. Yeah, because you're going to be going down the road, driving at comfortable speed. Somebody's going to wait and get right up on them. Zoom, zoom, right out in front of you. All right. If the Lord hadn't ordered your tongue, if you do not order your tongue, you might get up. <laughs> I know I'm not talking with you, but uh, Way wherein I should walk. Yeah. Why well, lift up my soul yeah. Yeah. unto you? Yeah. Now, deliver me. Knows who he's talking to. To whom he's talking. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from. I told you we had a spiritual warfare. Yeah. You don't need to look at your neighbor and say, I got an enemy on the left, got an enemy on the right. No, don't do that. Deliver me from my enemy. David goes on in his prayer. He says something here that ought to help all of us. He says, I flee unto thee to hide me. Mm. Sometimes you need to just go to the Lord and let him hide you in his sanctuary. Yeah. 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 When things are getting hot, when things are getting too tough for you, when you get to the point where you say, Lord, I can't handle this, run to him, run to him, and let him hide you in his sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. Another petition. Teach me. Are y'all following me in your Bible? You see what you see what I'm This is not this should not me saying all this. Teach me. What do you want the Lord to teach you? Teach me. I heard you, Brother Red, the scripture was, teach us to know our day. Teach me to do your will. The word is his there. Teach me to do his will. Teach me to do his will. That's what I want the Lord to do in 2020. Yeah, call me to hear your loving voice, your loving kindness early in the morning, Lord. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, Lord. Yeah. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from my enemies. Yeah. Teach me, O oh Lord, to do your will. Yeah. They recognize something there, for thou art my God. Thy spirit, your spirit is good. I'm going to another petition. Brother, not spend a lot of time on those. Listen. I am not your final teacher. I just declare what the Lord has already said. You got a final teacher whose name is Spirit of Truth. The Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our final teacher.
teach him. So he can take these things and stir them up in our heart and begin to make them make sense to us. Isn't that right? Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Your spirit is good. I got another condition here. Lead me. Lead me. Direct me. Guide me into the right place. Into the land of what? Uprightness. You see what I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the Lord. But since you have said that you are a child of the king, you're a child of the Lord, well then I shouldn't be going around putting off devil stuff. Y'all didn't get that, but I, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to say it a different way. Amen. I should not be putting off that stuff to cause somebody else to pain. Yeah. I should not be putting out that stuff to cause someone else a heartache. Yeah, yeah. I said I'm a child of the King. I said I'm a child of the Lord, I'm a child of God. I should be doing godly things. Yeah. I know I'm right about the church. Yeah. I got another petition here. Uh -huh. Not only did he say, did he say, quicken me, O Lord. Not only did he say, lead me into the land of uprightness. Right. Not only did he say, deliver me, O Lord. Yeah. I said, not only did he say that, but David said some other things here. Yeah. He said, call me to know thy way wherein I should walk. Yeah. Not only did he say that, but he said, call me to hear your loving kindness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got another petition. <coughs> Quicken me. Somebody said, I'm not brave enough to say this on my own. Mm. I'm saying, I'm just, I'm just repeating what someone else said. Someone said, if they dead, ought to be dead. Mm. I said, someone else said that. I'm not saying that by myself. <clears throat> I'm just repeating what someone else has said. Mm -hmm. But I'll say this. Uh -huh. I don't believe a child of God can have the Holy Spirit living in his or her life, yeah. and still be dead at the same time. Yeah, well, well. Yeah, I gotta be sneaking in some kind of way. I just have to fix it right. No, 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 no. Yeah. Like someone said, uh, said the church is dead. Uh, before the church could be found dead, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ gotta be dead. Not but I got news for you. Well, yeah. Jesus Christ is not dead. Right. You know that, don't right. you? I said, Jesus Christ is alive. Yeah, yeah. I said, he's alive right. evermore. Yeah, yeah. The Bible tells me that he is now seated yeah. at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. What's he doing? He's yeah. interceding yeah. Yeah. for me and he's interceding for you. Yeah. I guess I can sum it up by saying it this way. He's interceding for all of us. Yeah. He's interceding for the children of God. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know what to pray about. Yeah, Sometimes right. I don't know what to ask the Lord. Yeah, Lord. Uh -huh. But I want the Lord to help me. Yeah, I said I want the Lord to help me. Yeah, I don't right. know what to talk to him yeah, about. Yeah. Sometimes it sounds like to me it's just gibberish, yeah. gibberish, gibberish. Right. I need the Holy Spirit to teach me how to pray. Yeah, I said he'll teach you what to say. Yeah. He'll teach you when to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. Didn't he do it, church? Yeah. But he did. 
people. Yeah. But his country people did not receive yeah. it. But then he decided, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my country people yeah. a little bit jealous. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bless another people. Yeah. I thank God oh. that other people will meet me. Talking in it. Amen. Even sleeping. 
right with God, and it's something that God has already made available to you. Believe his word. Take him at his word. He told him why he came. I say he's already told him that. He came to seek and save that which was lost. He knew that. And every man that came on the face of this earth fell in that category. Oh. Um, that's him. Yes, sir. You know that. Yes, sir. I'm sure yes, of the glory of God. Yeah. In the fullness of time, mm -hmm. he sent forth his son. Yes. In the fullness of time. Right on time. Yeah. If you're saved this morning, he sent his son right on time. Yeah. If you're not saved this morning, you can't be, because he came right on time. Didn't he come on time? Right there, we're going to extend this privilege that the Lord has given to us. Humans here on earth. 